Hello and welcome back, to another Blender tutorial. This is part 10 of the series, and today I will show you, how to use shrink wrap modifier. We are going to use this modifier, to fit the roads on the new terrain, that we created on the previous video. So, as you can see, terrain now, has bumps and roads are hidden. How to fix it? It's simple. Select the roads and go to modifiers tab. Select shrink wrap, and use the picker to select the terrain. That was simple right? As you can see, roads are now on top of the terrain and there are no hidden parts. Except from some points. This can be fixed by using offset under the modifier. Set a number that you are satisfied. For me, 0.001 was great. Let's now increase the polygons of the terrain, to have a better resolution. Add a subdivision surface, modifier to it. Set view to 2 and apply it. Terrain is now smoother but we need also to apply smooth shader to it. Take a closer look at that slops. Everything is much better now. But still, we need to lower now all these extra polygons since it's too heavy. That's what decimate modifier does. It decrease the polygons by triangulating them. So, I found out for me, that there is no need of extra polygons and I decreased them to 0.1. Let's also remove all the underwater polygons. Go to edit mode and press C for circle select and select all that polygons and delete them. Since it is a boring process, I will speed the time here. In this process, I forgot to go to wireframe view. The result was do not select some polygons, so, I got back and start once again. Now, we have a smooth terrain with low polygons. Time also, to texture our terrain to give it a better look. Let's split to a new window for UV unwrap. Don't make the same mistake as me. I forgot to mark any seams so, smart UV project did not work as I wanted. I also tried to pack islands to fill the space in UV editor, but I finally went with UV unwrap method. Now, go to materials and add a new material for Thu terrain. For me. I created one at the beginning of the series, so I chose that one. As you can see, there is a drop down there with a search box. As I remember I named it ground. Search for it and select it. Time to add a texture to it. I already have one. If you don't have, you can and always download any one you like. I have a link in the description for the site that I am using. Click on the dot next to the base color and select image texture. Open and select the texture you downloaded. As I said, the material I used was already existed. That's why my texture didn't apply. For this, open the drop down and select the texture again. Now, go to edit mode and from the UV window, press A to select all and scale as many times you like until you have the desired size. I think it looks okay for now. We can always go back and create a proper texture for it when we have some time. This is how it looks now from camera view. This is the end of part 10. Thanks for watching. And if you liked the video, please hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.